Hi students, I am Narayan Pragas. Welcome to FICO Academy Online Classes. Today, I like to take uh, another topic that is simple past tense. Simple past tense that is the topic which we want to discuss today. And uh, simple past tense is the first division of a past tense. And you know very well that this past tense has four division, simple past tense, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. And simple past tense is the first division of a past tense. And it has a formula that is subject plus second form of the verb, subject plus second form of the verb that is the formula of a simple past tense. You know, I tell you the difference between simple present tense and simple past tense. In simple present tense, you use the first form of the verb and whereas, in simple past tense, you use the second form of the verb and I told you the verb will have four forms. I mean the first form is present, second form past, third form that is past participle, I mean ed or en form of the verb and the last one is present participle, I mean the fourth one present participle that is ing form of the verb. And come to the point, simple past tense, I told you the formula that is subject plus second form of the verb. Okay. In which context you can use simple past tense in English? Simple past tense means an action which is already completed at one point in the past. An action which is already completed at one point of the past. I mean the finished action you can express in simple past tense. And I tell you some example, they arrived yesterday they arrived yesterday, they arrived yesterday. My students just uh, analyze this sentence, they arrived yesterday. So, in this sentence they is the subject and arrived is the second form of the verb, arrive, arrived, arrived and arriving that is the last form subject plus second form they arrived yesterday. I mean the action is already completed in the past. And another example, I studied in the local college, I studied in the local college, I studied in the local college. See I is a subject and studied is the second form of the verb. I studied in the local college that means you know the action is completed you know the first sentence they arrived yesterday the action is completed it happened yesterday not now not today and I studied in the local college studied is the second form of the verb and uh, <coughs> and you can also use this is simple past tense to express a past action to express a past habitual action. You know there are two conditions. The first condition is that simple past tense can be used to express an action which is already completed in the past and the second condition which I tell you now, the second condition I mean which expresses a habitual action in the past. For example, my mother, my mother my mother spent about spent about two hours spent about two hours on puja every day on puja every day on puja every day my mother spent about two hours on puja every day 
So you just uh, analyze this sentence. My mother is the subject and spent is the second form of the verb, you know which is the first form of a spent S P E N D. S P E N D spent is the first form whereas S P E N T spent is the second form. S P E N D spent first form, S P E N T spent second form. My mother spent about 2 hours on puja every day which expresses a habitual action of the past. So, in simple past tense you can express two kinds of actions. The first one which I told you an action which is already completed in the past, an action which is already completed in the past, a past action and the second one I told you now you can express a habitual action of the past. For example, my mother spent about 2 hours on puja every day. Next, uh, you know how can we make uh, negative sentences in simple past? A sentence will have two divisions, I mean positive sentence and a negative sentence. It is quite interesting, positive sentence and negative sentence. And how can we make a positive sentence into negative? I mean you need to use not along with the proper auxiliary verb of the sentence. You know there are several auxiliary verbs in English. We already studied uh, simple present, present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. And you studied the auxiliary verbs like uh, do, does, is, am, are, then has, have. You already studied. You know, while you change a, a positive sentence into negative, you have to use not along with the proper auxiliary verb. That is the condition. I tell you one example, then you can easily understand it. I completed my studies. I completed uh, I completed my studies. I completed my studies. What type of sentence it is? I completed my studies. What type of sentence it is? It is a positive sentence. Why it is a positive sentence? Because there is no any negative words. Negative words like uh, not, hardly, scarcely, rarely, seldom, little, etc. You know they are used uh, as negative words in English. I mean not, hardly, scarcely, rarely, seldom, little, few, etc. We use in English as negative words. I completed my studies, it is positive. And I am going to make this sentence into, no, into negative. You know, while you make a negative sentence, not can be used with a proper auxiliary verb. And in simple past tense, you can use only one auxiliary verb that is did. You know, did is the auxiliary verb which you can use in simple past tense. And this is also the past form of do or does, do or does, the past form of do or does is did, do not forget that it is quite simple, do or does which we use uh, as auxiliary verbs in simple present tense and did is the past form of a do or did, do or does, okay come here I completed my studies then I am going to change this sentence into negative. I did not complete my studies. I did not <coughs> complete my studies. Listen, this sentence is negative, but a change is happened. 
Did you notice the change? What change uh, is happened here? I mean, when you use did in a sentence, you can use only the first form of the verb. When you use a did in a sentence, you can use only the first form of the verb. I mean, did is followed by the first form of the verb. You want to remember this condition while you write negative sentences in simple past tense. And I know many students are making mistakes. You know, they will write did. And after did, they will use also the second form of the verb. No, that is not correct. And when you use did in a sentence, after that you can use only the first form of the verb. See, I completed my studies and I did not complete my studies. Not did not completed, did not complete, did not complete. I mean after did, you can use only the first form of the first form of the verb. And uh, you know another one. They finished their job. They finished their job. They finished their job. Same meaning. They finished their job. Completed, finished, same, uh, same words. They finished their job. So, what will be the negative? They did not, did not finish their job. So, do you understand? What is the condition? I mean, did is followed by the first form of the verb and you should remember it very well. And the next topic which you want to study in simple past tense is question sentences in simple past tense. Question sentences in simple past tense. Question sentences in simple past tense. You know, there are two types of questions yes or no question and WH question. And while you ask yes or no question, what is the format? You want to use auxiliary verb first then subject, then main verb, then the remaining portion of the sentence, finally you have to put a question mark. Auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb plus remaining portion of the sentence, finally you have to put the question mark. You know this is a yes or no question. Okay, one question. I studied English. I studied English. I studied English means I is the subject, studied is the second form. I mean subject plus second form of the verb, I studied English. And uh, how can you ask a yes or no question? How can you make uh, a yes or no question for I studied English? Which auxiliary verb you can use? Which auxiliary verb? You know, first I shall write, I did study English. I did study English. I did study English. You know, studied will become study. I did study English. You know, what is the difference between the first sentence and the second sentence? The first sentence is a common one. I studied English positive and a common sentence. And whereas if you say, I did study English, I did study English, you know, that's you, you have given emphasization. You emphasized, I did study English. You know, suppose your teacher asked a question and uh, you don't know the answer properly, you are scratching your you are scratching your head because the answer is not coming out. You know the answer, 
the answer is there in your brain but it is not coming out you are scratching your head so the teacher will ask did you study english yes you will say i did study english i did study english so when you ask a yes or no question you just use the did at the beginning of the sentence you just use the did at the beginning of this sentence so did and i will become you did you study english did you study english did you study english see the answer is yes or no you can say yes i study in english yes i studied english i studied english and you can say no i did not study english okay i did not study english i didn't study english i did not study english i didn't uh, study english you know that is the usual way of making this uh, yes or no question and uh, if you need uh, some other examples you know for wh question i shall give you another example another another one what did you study for example you know for a wh question first you want to use a question word plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb that is the format of making wh question question word plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb plus remaining portion of the sentence so this is the sentence i studied english and you want to get the answer english what did you study what did you study what did you study what did you study i studied english what did you study i studied english so you can apply this formula everywhere if you want to ask a yes or no question or wh question and uh, we are going to we are go, uh, we are jumping into the next topic past continuous next one past continuous second one past continuous it has got a formula that is subject plus was or were plus present participle you know what is present participle you know this a uh, technical term is coming repeatedly in in this uh, in several tenses present participle is the ing form you know while you use a ing form along with a verb it makes the action a continuous one for example write present participle is writing i mean the action is continuing read present participle reading the action is continuing so come to this formula subject plus was or were plus present participle this was or were you know you are uh, you know very well this was or were they are used as auxiliary verbs in past continuous was or were they are used as auxiliary verbs in past continuous and at the same time they depend on subject whether it is singular or plural you know i told you 90% of our auxiliary verbs depend on our subject you know it is forming everything in our brain when we open our mouth to say a sentence you know first we use a subject then next one the auxiliary verb or the main verb and it depends on the subject whether it is singular or plural so here subject 
if it is singular if the subject is singular you can use was and if the subject is plural you can use a verb okay was can be used with a singular subject and a verb can be used with a plural subject and you know i told you i is a plural subject and now you will have some confusion i is a plural subject but here you you need to use only was i was not i were if you use a i were it is a great mistake you can use was with a i i was not i were but sometimes you can use a were with a i to express an impossible condition you know you you will say that you know i have seen i were somewhere else you will say that and in that sentence the were is used with the subject i and why this is sir is telling that was only was should be used with the i you know that is another thing remember was can be used with the i i was and i were sometimes we may use i were to express impossible condition impossible condition you know i were is used only an impossible condition or imaginative situation for example if i were a bird if i were a bird if i were a bird i would fly if i were a bird i would fly which expresses an impossible condition we shall never say if i was a bird we shall never say if i were a bird i would fly and another one if i were a doctor if i were a doctor i would treat you i would treat you listen i am specially mentioning about the application of i were this uh, i were which expresses impossible condition if you if you need to express an impossible condition you can use uh, i were in poems you can see these kinds of things otherwise you need to use only was with the i so subject plus was or were plus present participle i already explained uh, this is structure subject plus was or were plus present participle the next thing in which situation or in which context you can apply past continuous in which context you can apply past continuous you know every tense has its own context to express to express the idea in which context you can use the past continuous you know past continuous means a continuous action in the past a continuous action in the past you know an action which is sustained a short period of time in the past an action which is sustained a short period of time in the past you know i shall show you the diagram then you can uh, then you will understand okay present past and future where you can use the uh, past continuous an action which is sustained a particular period of time in the past you know an action which started at one point in the past and it continued it progressed and it ended at one point or the past itself it ended at one point in the past itself for example i was sleeping i was sleeping i was sleeping listen i was sleeping an action which uh, sustained 
at a given period of time in the past at a particular period of time in the past and we don't know when it started or when the action ended we don't know you know there is no any significance for the starting point of the action and the ending point of the action the action only sustained at a given period of time in the past that you should understand i was sleeping and generally if you want to add any other sentences along with it you can use a simple past tense sometimes 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 you need to add one more sentences with a past continuous and that moment you can use a simple past tense along with it you can use a simple past tense do you understand sometimes you need to use uh, some other tense along with the past continuous that moment you can use a simple past tense only i was sleeping when 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 she came i was sleeping when she came so i was sleeping that sentence is written past continuous using the formula of a subject plus was or were plus past participle i added another sentence i added one more sentence along with this one when she came you know she is subject and came is the second form of the verb past tense has got a formula subject plus second form of the verb and here she is a subject and came is the second form of the verb and, uh, and uh, one more example why as i was standing as i was standing at the bus stop as i was standing at the bus stop a cyclist dashed against me a cyclist dashed against me you know i wrote two sentences here as i was standing at the bus stop as i was standing at the bus stop a cyclist dashed against me the second sentence is written in simple past tense subject plus second form of the verb as per you know we wrote the second sentence a cyclist dashed against me that is a simple past tense as i was standing at the bus stop that sentence is written in past continuous as i was standing at the bus stop you know a past progressive action an action which continued from a point of the past and it ended in another point of the past i mean which is sustained a particular period of the time in the past and uh, you know it's a starting point and the ending point neither significant significant and nor known to us okay that is uh, past continuous and uh, there is another uh, one more condition one more condition and you know the difference between present continuous and past continuous present continuous and past continuous what is the formula of a present continuous subject plus is am are plus present participle present participle and you come to past continuous so what is happening subject plus was or were i mean is or am the past form of is 
the positive form of is or am that is was and the past form of uh, are that is were and remember this you know while we study reporter speech you want to understand this condition the past of uh, is or am that is was and the past of are that is were and present continuous which express a progressive action in the present a progressive action in the present and past continuous express expresses a progressive action in the past i mean an action which progressed or which continued a certain period in the past only okay and you know if to sometimes we can express two simultaneous actions in the past continuous we can express two simultaneous conditions in past continuous for example you know simultaneous conditions simultaneous actions simultaneous actions means you know two actions are happening at the same time in the past we can express two actions are happening simultaneously in the past for example he was reading a newspaper he was reading a paper and uh, she was working in the kitchen you know two actions are happening simultaneously and these two actions are happening in the past past progressive action she was reading a paper he was reading a paper and she was working in the kitchen suppose you are reporting an incident uh, to someone you know when the accident when that incident happened the he was reading a paper he was reading a newspaper and she was working in the kitchen i mean these two actions are happening in the past continuing in the past simultaneous actions two actions are happening together and uh, another one questions you can make a questions in past continuous next topic question sentences in past continuous and how can you make a yes or no question or wh questions in past continuous and it is very simple you just use a was or were at the beginning of the sentence just use a was or were at the beginning of the sentence then you can make a yes or no question for example they were watch watching tv they were watching tv they were watching tv a common sentence listen they is a subject and they is a plural subject that's why i used to were and watching that is present participle ing they were watching tv and how can you make a yes or no question just use were at the beginning so were they watching tv were they watching tv yes they were watching tv no they were not watching tv while you make a negative you know you just use a not along with the auxiliary verb was or were was not were not that is the negative expression was not were not they were watching tv were they watching tv were they watching tv yes they were watching tv no they were not watching tv and the example he was standing in the queue he was stand he was standing in the queue he was standing in the queue 
yes and what will be the yes or no question for he was standing in the queue just use was at the beginning use the auxiliary verb at the beginning so the answer is was he standing in the queue was he standing in the queue was he standing in the queue i mean while you make a yes or no question it is quite simple just use the auxiliary verb at the beginning of the sentence and wh question you can make a wh question use the appropriate question word you know there are several question words in english interrogative words they are also called interrogative words which where what when who whose etc they are interrogative words or question words he was standing in the queue you know we are going to ask a question where was he standing where was he standing where was he standing where was he standing what i did what i did i used only the question word at the beginning actually you know you used the auxiliary verb was he standing and just before it i used the question word where was he standing he was standing in the queue where he where was he standing he was standing in the queue that is the usual way of making yes or no questions and uh, wh questions okay then we uh, we can go to the next topic past perfect third one past perfect subject plus had plus past participle past participle you are familiar with the past participle what is past participle ed or en form of the verb ed or en form of the verb i mean the third form of the verb i told you the verbs will have four forms first form second form third form and fourth form fourth form present participle third form that is ed or en form past participle subject plus had plus past participle you know had had is the only auxiliary verb in past perfect and it is the past form of a has or have you know had is had is the past form of a has or have that is called a had and a had has got another effect that is called a did plus have did plus have is equals to had what i say that if you see in any sentence the expression did plus have did have which means had did have means had subject plus had plus past participle and i already explained what is subject and after the subject you can use a had that is the only auxiliary verb in past perfect and next one past participle ed or en form of the verb in past perfect you know you can express you can describe the completion of two actions you can describe the completion of two actions in the past and the action which happened first the action which happened first should be expressed in past perfect and the second one is a simple past you know first action that should be expressed in past perfect 
and the second action which can be expressed in simple past. I mean you can express the completion of two actions in past perfect. The action which completed first should be expressed in past perfect and the action which happened second that should be expressed in simple past. You know I shall give you one example when I reached the station when I reached the station when I reached the station the train had the train had already left you know this type of sentences uh, you might have noticed uh, in the examination when I reached the station the train had already left so listen please once more it is very simple to understand first uh, you should uh, think about the structure subject plus had plus past participle in past perfect you can express two actions you know two actions are completed in the past one before the other you know these two actions are already completed in the past one before the other but remember the action which first completed the action which first finished should be expressed in past perfect and the second action should be expressed in simple past. So, you just analyze the example when I reached the station the train had already left. When I reached the station that is the second one when I reached the station the train had already left the train had already gone the train had already left you know that is the first action the train had already left that is the first action you know first action what I did I expressed in past perfect and the second action I expressed in simple past and if you can't understand this method if you can't understand it you know I shall give you another example a simple example Okay, one example, I went to Joseph's house, I went to Joseph's house at 11 a.m. Joseph went to Joseph went to Patel Nagar at ten forty five. You know, now it is simple, you can easily understand. That. So, in this I, I already told you in past perfect you can express two past actions. These two past actions are already completed. You understand? You know you express two past actions already completed. Listen, I went to Joseph's house. When I, I did go there, when did I go there? At 11 a.m. Joseph went to Patel Nagar. When did he go to Patel Nagar? At 10.45. Do you understand? So, I told you, 
the action which happened first the action which happened you know two actions are completed in the past two actions are completed in the past and the action which happened first the action which happened first should be mentioned in past perfect and here which action happened first which action happened first here you know the second action so this action can be expressed in past perfect and the next action you can use in simple past i hope you understood this can you understand i mean two we express two actions two past actions one before the other the action which completed first should be expressed in past perfect and the other one in simple past so joseph went to patel nagar that is the that action happened first you know at 10 uh, 45 and i went to joseph house you know which happened at 11 am okay now you can write when i went to when i went to joseph house when i went to joseph house joseph went to patel nagar you know this action is happened first so you can write he had gone to he had gone to he had gone to patel nagar he had gone to patel nagar he had subject he had plus past participle that is gone go gone he had gone to patel nagar now you remember if you can't you know you remember this example you keep it in your mind i went to joseph's house at 11 am and when joseph went to patel nagar at 10:45 and which action happened first second action the action which happened first can be expressed in past perfect and the other one you can express in simple past and uh, the last one past perfect continuous fourth one past perfect continuous subject plus had plus been plus present participle present participle means ing form of the verb subject plus had plus been plus present participle present participle means ing form of the verb past perfect continuous you know when you can use uh, past perfect continuous i shall show you the diagram then you can understand easily present past and future listen in past perfect continuous the action starts at one point of the past in past perfect continuous the action starts at one point of the past and continues through the present and continues through the present and ends and ends where it ends and ends in the past you know you will be confused in order to understand this present perfect continuous you want to remember present perfect continuous you know first of all i shall uh, remind you this present perfect continuous then you can understand present perfect continuous
what is present perfect continuous it has a structure subject plus has or have plus been plus present participle the same one that is ing subject plus has or have plus been plus present participle ing listen i am i am now i am speaking about a present perfect continuous present perfect continuous means present perfect continuous means an action which starts at one point of the past and continues through the present an action which starts at one point of the past and continues through the present for example i have been i have been studying i have been studying in this college i have been studying in this college since 2017 i have been studying in this college uh, since uh, 2017 so what is happening the action which started at one point of the past and still the action is going on you know still you are a student of this college you are studying here one moment you came here and you joined here you filled up the application form and you joined here and still you know the you are attending the classes the action is continuing so you can write that i have been studying in this college since 2017 and remember remember you have completed your course you have completed your course and one day you are passing before the college you know you are passing before this college what will you say you will say that i had been studying i had been studying in this college since 2017 i had been studying that means you are not a student of this college now you were a student of this college you already completed your course you already completed your education here you are no longer student of this college so you will say that i had been studying this college since 2017 i had been so what happened remember the same thing the action which started in the past and the action continued in the present for a long period of time the action which continued in the present for a long period of time and you know it became past now that entire action became past now it became past such type of actions can be expressed in past perfect continuous and in order to understand this uh, past perfect continuous you have to remember very well the condition of uh, present perfect continuous then only you can realize otherwise you will be confused just now you, uh, you understand you know the action which starts at one point of the past and continues through the present for a long period of time and it ends there and it will become a past you one more example he has been and the example he has been i'm sorry he had been he had been running a shop he had been running a shop in the town in the town for 10 years you already learned the application of a since or for you already learned it when you can use a since or for i had been running a shop in the town for 10 years what does it mean i had been running a shop in the town for 10 years i had been running a shop in the town for 10 years that means you know he doesn't have a shop in the town 
he doesn't have a shop in the town he had a shop in the town not now and he managed the shop for 10 years now he lost everything so he will say that you know i had been running a shop in the town for 10 years now i am doing another job now i am doing another job i had been running a shop in the town for 10 years now i am doing another job that means you know that fellow opened his op opened his shop in the town and he managed the shop for 10 years at present you know he is not working the the shop is not there uh, he is doing some other job and such kinds of actions can be expressed in past perfect continuous and uh, you know today i taught you for tenses in uh, in past tense one is a simple past subject plus second form of the verb what is subject plus second form of the verb where, where, where you can use where you can use in which context you can use a simple past tense i mean simple past tense which expresses the past completed action and you can express the habitual action of the past and there is only one auxiliary verb in simple past tense what is that did did is the only auxiliary verb you can use in simple past tense and remember the most important thing when you use a did in a sentence you can use only the first form of the verb did stud studied did study worked did work did work completed did complete finished did finish you want to remember this uh, you want to remember this i mean uh, did is followed by the first form of the verb and the second one which i told you today past continuous that is subject plus was or were plus present participle subject plus was or were plus present participle in which context you can use a past continuous past continuous means an action which is sustained at a given period of time in the past we don't know the starting point of the action and the ending point of the action and if you want to use any additional sentence along with past continuous you know you can use only simple past tense i mean subject plus second form of the verb past continuous means past progressive action an action which progressed in the past and next we studied past perfect past perfect means subject plus had plus past participle and uh, you know you can express two completed past completed actions you can express two completed actions in the past the action which is completed first should be expressed in past perfect and the following one in simple past tense i tell you once more past perfect subject plus had plus past participle you can express two completed actions of the past one before the other the action which happened first should be expressed in past perfect and the following one in simple past so remember very well the example of uh, joseph and the time also then you will get the idea and the last one past perfect continuous subject plus had plus been plus present participle and which context you can use the past perfect continuous i mean an action which starts at one point of the past and it continues for a long period of time in the in the present and it will become finally it will become the past the the entire situation will become past so that is the condition of a past perfect continuous